FQC and packaging multilayer PC board process as technology continues to evolve, multilayer printed circuit boards are increasingly being used in many industries. Multilayer PCBs offer greater levels of complexity and reliability than traditional single layer PCBs, making them an ideal choice for many applications. Here, we'll explore the process of creating and using multilayer PCBs from final quality control, FQC, to packaging. FQC is a critical part of any PCB manufacturing process, as it ensures that the products being manufactured are of the highest quality and free from defects. This allows manufacturers to deliver a reliable and safe product to their customers, which helps to build trust in the company's products. After an item passes through FQC, it then enters into the packaging phase of the production process. Packaging plays an important role in protecting the item while also displaying its features or functions to potential buyers. Multilayer PCBs often require special attention during packaging due to their fragility and intricate design. For example, they should be placed into an anti-static bag or a protective casing before being shipped out. Moreover, you need extra care when shipping them to prevent them from getting damaged or lost during transit. Manufacturers must also make sure that their multilayer PCBs comply with regulatory guidelines regarding hazardous materials, shipping labels, etc. By taking all these necessary steps, manufacturers can help ensure that their multilayer PCBs reach their customers in perfect condition. What is a multilayer PCB? A multilayer printed circuit board is a type of circuit board that consists of multiple layers of copper and other materials stacked together to create a single unit. The multiple layers of the PCB allow for more components and more complex circuit designs than are possible with a single layer PCB. Multilayer PCBs are suitable for various electronic products from mobile phones to televisions. A multilayer PCB typically consists of at least four layers, the core, the ground plane, the power plane, and the signal layers. The core layer is the base of the board and provides structural support for the other layers. The ground plane acts as an electrical shield for the other layers, providing a reference point for signals to flow through. The power plane provides power to the circuit, while the signal layers contain the traces and pads that connect the components of the circuit. The advantages of multilayer PCBs include their ability to provide a large number of electrical connections in a small area and their low-cost production. Besides, they are relatively easy to repair and maintain, making them ideal for high-volume production and product design. The benefits of a multilayer PCB Multilayer printed circuit boards offer significant advantages over single layer PCBs in terms of size, complexity, and cost. By minimizing the space required for electrical connections, multilayer PCBs allow designers to create compact, lightweight products. The multilayer PCB also offers great signal integrity as it can handle higher frequencies than a single layer board. Multilayer PCBs are also more durable than single layer boards as they are less prone to cracking due to their greater thickness and fewer layers. These boards are easier to work with, as the designer only needs to assemble one set of components, instead of the multiple sets required for single layer boards. This makes them ideal for applications where cost and time are critical. The process of manufacturing a multilayer PCB after PCB design, it's time to begin the manufacturing process. This is an incredibly complex and time-consuming process that requires highly specialized equipment and skillful professionals. First, you have to print the layers of the PCB onto a flexible circuit substrate. This substrate contains the electrical pathways that make up the circuit boards. These pathways are etched out using either chemical or mechanical methods. 
This process can take several hours, depending on the size and complexity of the board. After the layers printing, you have to laminate them together with heat and pressure. This ensures that all of the components and traces remain in place while being soldered. During this step, all of the holes for the components and other features are also drilled. In the end, it's time to assemble the board, which involves soldering all the components in their respective places. You have to do it by hand or with automated equipment, depending on the size of the project. After soldering, comes the board's testing to ensure that all of the components are functioning properly. If everything checks out, then the multilayer PCB is ready for use. Testing a multilayer PCB You have to test a PCB after manufacturing to ensure that all components are functioning properly. Moreover, the board should meet the customer's specifications. Depending on the complexity of the design, the testing procedure may require multiple tests to confirm the board's performance. FQC Final Quality Control Test for PCB FQC is an essential step in the printed circuit board fabrication process of any printed circuit board. This is especially true for multilayer PCBs, which have more layers and complex designs. FQC is an important part of the manufacturing process because it ensures that the board meets all of the design and quality specifications required. FQC stands for Final Quality Control. It is the process of testing a multilayer PCB, printed circuit board, to make sure that it meets the manufacturer's quality standards and is free from any defects or faults. FQC involves performing tests on each layer of the board to ensure that all components, traces, and other features are placed correctly and working properly. The tests include visual inspection, electrical testing, functionality tests, thermal cycling tests, and more. FQC also ensures that the board is well packaged and ready for shipping. By thoroughly testing the board, you can detect any possible issues before it is shipped out, which saves time and money in the long run. FQC also allows manufacturers to remain compliant with industry standards, such as IPC standards. The testing process is visual inspection. Visual inspection of the multilayer PCB is one of the simplest but most important tests for FQC. This includes inspecting for proper solder joint formation, ensuring all components are mounted correctly, and checking for any shorts, opens, or other potential defects. Electrical testing. Electrical testing checks the electrical characteristics of the multilayer PCB and helps ensure it meets the specifications set out in the design. Tests such as ICT, in-circuit test, flying probe test, boundary scan test, and functional testing help measure the board's electrical parameters and performance. Thermal testing. Thermal testing measures how well the multilayer PCB dissipates heat. This is an important test for understanding the temperature of various components on the board and making sure they don't exceed their limits. Tests such as IR reflow, convection oven, thermal shock, and mechanical vibration can be used to perform this type of testing. Burn-in test. The burn-in test helps find any weak components on the board and make sure they will last throughout its life cycle. You have to heat the board to a certain temperature and maintain it for a specific amount of time. If any components fail this test, they will be replaced with more reliable ones before shipping. By performing all these tests, manufacturers can guarantee that the boards they ship are of high quality and able to function properly. PCB packaging The last step in the multilayer PC board fabrication process is packaging. This involves protecting the delicate components on the board from environmental damage and ensuring that it is safe for transport and use. Depending on the application, this could involve encasing the board in a protective shell, adding shock-absorbing features, or both. 
The type of PCB packaging depends on the size of the board, the environment in which it will work, and the overall design of the board. Packaging not only serves to protect the board and its components but can also have an aesthetic function. For example, if you are using your multi-layer PCB in a consumer product, packaging can add a layer of branding to the device, making it look more professional and attractive to potential customers. No matter what type of packaging is there, it should provide robust protection against physical damage, dust, and moisture, as well as electromagnetic interference. If the board will be subject to extreme temperatures or pressure, special packaging may be required to protect it from these conditions. So, packaging plays an important role in the fabrication process of a multilayer PCB. It provides protection for the board and its components, as well as adds an aesthetic element to the device. Furthermore, FQC must be performed on the packaged board to ensure that it is fully functional and meets any applicable industry standards. Final Thoughts FQC stands for Final Quality Control. It is the process of making sure that the product being manufactured meets all the specifications required by the customer. This includes a thorough inspection of the product, testing its performance and quality, as well as verifying any customer-specific requirements. FQC is a typical process to test consumer electronics, medical equipment, automotive parts, and other complex products. After completing all tests on a multi-layer PCB, it is ready for use in its intended application. Would like to know more about the FQC packaging in the multi-layer PCB or prototype PCB manufacturer? Email us at sales at nconline.com. That's sales at nconline.com. That's sales.